learned that there are three types of microtubules that are produced from the centrioles. We're going to see the kinetochore microtubules. So these are the microtubules coming from the centriole and that will bind to the kinetochore. Remember the kinetochore is that central protein found at the centromere or the central region of the chromosomes. So the kinetochore microtubules are dynamically unstable. So as they are growing from the centrioles, they're growing and shrinking, growing and shrinking, until they finally make contact with the kinetochore. It is the kinetochore microtubules that are responsible then for pushing and pulling the chromosomes and ultimately separating the sister chromatids from each other. The other set of microtubules that we will observe are the interpolar microtubules. So the interpolar microtubules, such as these ones here, above the chromosome here, and if you can see below this chromosome here, these interpolar microtubules also originate from the centriole, but they do not interact with the chromosomes or the kinetochore, but we will see that they interact with each other by sliding past each other and we will see that there's a kinesin, a plus ed motor directed protein that's involved with their movement. And the interpolar microtubules are going to be involved with uh, pushing the centrioles or the poles further apart. So they contribute to anaphase B, whereas the kinetochore microtubules are contributing to anaphase A. And then finally, the third pair of microtubules is known as the astro microtubules. The astro microtubules are the microtubules that again originate from the centriole, but then they go and they bind to the plasma membrane or the cell's membrane. And again, what we're going to see here is that they contribute to anaphase B as well in helping to again pull these poles, the centrioles, further apart, thus contributing to the stretching of the cell in order to lead into telophase and ultimately cytokinesis.